it's time to get it together. Yes, you, you who sees this, it's time to fully walk with the Lord. It's time to stop dabbling, you know, trying to put your big toe <laughs> into the world. And then you got the rest of your foot trying to serve the Lord or either the other way around. No, we cannot do both. We cannot do both. Remember, if you are saved, you got to stop running back to things that the Lord saved you from. You got to stop. Stop dibbling and dabbling in things that are not of the Lord. And if you're like, well, what am I doing that's not of the Lord? You need to seek him for understanding. Seek him for discernment. Seek him for guidance on how to walk with him. Listen, he will guide you. He will help you. Holy Spirit will give you understanding of things. But we can't keep making excuses. We can't keep, you know, um, just doing whatever. Doing whatever, you know, reading our scripture in the morning. And then in the evening, we doing who knows what. Listening to who knows what. Letting our mind be filled with all sorts of music and enter entertainment. Movies that don't please God, that are pulling us back from him instead of closer to him. Y'all, it's time to take this serious. Your relationship with Jesus is not a joke. He needs to be number one. He, you know, matter of fact, everything needs to be centered around him. Okay? Because we are to deny ourselves daily and tell our flesh to be quiet. You got to stay in the presence of the Lord Pray continually throughout the day. Read your word. And don't just read your word. Apply it. Apply it to your life. Ask the Lord, you know, how to do so. If you don't feel like you know yet. But, y'all, we can't keep making these excuses and compromising and, you know, saying, oh, this is okay. That is okay. No. If it's not okay with God, it should not be okay with us if we are truly his children. And we become his children when we confess Jesus Christ as Lord. We get to become children of God. All right? So if you've done that, you're a child of God. But you got you to gotta walk this walk. Don't just talk the talk. I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. Okay? And then the fruit is going to start showing. No, we are not saved by works. But listen, honey. Once you got the Lord, the Holy Spirit is moving in you. The Holy Spirit. Listen. You're going to start seeing results. People are going to start seeing results. You're going to see changes in your life. The fruit is going to show. And it's not because we're better than anybody. It's not, again, because we're saved that way. I'm just saying that's what's going to happen. There's going to be a transformation that is beautiful because of the Lord. And we're still going to need his grace daily. And we're still going to be uh, transformed daily, you know, as we continue on. This is an a, a ongoing thing. But what I'm saying is, like, don't keep making excuses and keep compromising and trying to live still for the world or like you did before you were saved, now that you're saved. No. Why would you want to do that? Lord, Jesus loves you so much and he's so good and he's willing to help you on this walk. So today I encourage you to ask the Lord to search your heart, to search your heart, to remove things that are not of him. This is what I do, y'all. You know, I try to do that as much as possible. I don't, I'm not going to say I do it every day, but I'm just giving y'all an example. Like, that's one thing I do when I'm like, I'm like, Lord, search my heart. Please pull anything out of me that is not of you and continue to do it. Because, you know, we are still human. Sin is still in this world. You know, we will still make mistakes. But there's a difference between making a mistake and regretting it and going to repent and get on your face and ask the Lord for forgiveness and to help you have a change of heart about that thing than actually going and just living a lifestyle, living a way that we know the Lord is not pleased with. Or we say, oh, you know, he's just going to forgive us tomorrow. Or I know he's going to forgive us after. No, y'all. No. God is still holy. He still cares about sin. So we have to care about it as well. Okay? Sorry, y'all got the hiccups. Um, so we still have to care about it as well. And this message is given in love, y'all. This is love. Love is speaking the truth. It's not giving sugar-coated messages because that's not going to help us. 
Love, you know, is, is telling your brother or sister in Christ or somebody who hasn't been saved yet the truth. The true gospel. Telling them, hey, let's get back on track. Because Lord knows if I fall off track, because I'm a human just like y'all, I would want somebody to come tell me. Even if it stung a little bit, hey, girl, you tripping. Like, what you doing? You need to be in there praying and not doing this and that. Or you need to come back to Jesus, you know, or, you know, you're, you're slipping. What's going on? I would want somebody to do that for me because that's what's truly going to help me. You know, we ought to pull each other back up, point each other back to or to Jesus. So, again, I encourage you today, whoever sees this message, to start taking your walk with the Lord serious. Stop trying to do all these th different things, things you did before you were saved and thinking it's okay because of God's grace. Because it's not. We are to deny ourselves daily. This is a daily walk. Like every day we have to get up and decide. Let me fix this light, y'all. Can y'all see me all right? Every day we have to get up and decide. Like I'm living for Jesus today. Lord, help me. Speak things that are pleasing and acceptable to you. Think things that are pleasing and acceptable to you. Live a life that is for you to deny my flesh and so on. This is a daily walk. And it's not always a cake walk. It's not, you know, as people say, it's not always a piece of cake. There can be hard days and challenging days. But by God's grace, he helps us get through it. By the fruit of the spirit, we're able to get through it. And we're able to keep walking this walk. And when we do sin, when we do make those mistakes, we miss the mark. We run back to Jesus. We don't run away from him like the devil tries to get us to do. We run back to Jesus, okay? And we repent and we ask for help in that area. And then we get up and we keep going and we keep fighting this good fight. Okay, because we're going to endure to the end. So I'm encouraging you to endure, to get your life right with the Lord. To start keeping him as the center of your life and to stop trying to live for the world in him. We don't need to be compromising. Okay? We can still have fun in the Lord. There is godly music that is great that um, I prayed about and have found or that God just shows to me. There are godly movies we can watch or family movies, you know. Family movies we can watch or things we can watch that, you know, um, don't displease the Lord. There are fun activities we can do where we don't have to be getting drunk and uh, doing all this crazy stuff. You know, there, there are so many things we can do, y'all. We got to stop feeding the flesh and making excuses. And live this thing out. This is a lifestyle, y'all. This is not just a title we call ourselves, a Christian. This is a true thing, like a true lifestyle a daily walk so get on it y'all i'm telling you this is your sister in christ i'm telling you this is your sister in christ it's time to get right okay on this channel that's what you're gonna hear you're gonna hear the truth we're gonna have some fun we're gonna laugh might be some other stuff sprinkled in but all in all jesus is gonna be the center so if you want truth this is where you should be okay if you if you don't like truth this might not be the place for you, but you might, but you probably still need to hear it because we need to hear the truth. Okay. We need to hear the truth because this is about our souls. All right. Have a good day, y'all. Bye. <laughs>